In Sharon Springs, it seems that the people in the businesses embrace tradition, and they believe that technology is not necessarily the better way. At Adelphi Paper Hangings, we see wallpaper made by hand. There's something very easy to find on Route 20. It's at the corner of Route 20 and Route 10. Hidden away in a building that used to be an old-fashioned grocery store and general store is a company now that makes wallpaper, and it makes wallpaper from scratch. Uh, it's traditional wallpaper, and uh, we've been watching Michelle make a particular pattern for a few minutes here, and the wallpapers here are historic, they're traditional, they are made by hand, and uh, this is the final product of what Michelle was working on. Beautiful, isn't it? Another fascinating traditional business is Foxglove Press, a letterpress printer on Main Street. You can visit Wednesday through Sunday, 10 to 5, and see a turn-of-the-century letterpress at work. Today we're so accustomed to copying machines, to word processors, and the printers with our word processors. You may want to bring your children down here to Sharon Springs to see something from the past that is still at work in the present, and it's Foxglove Press. You come into here and you can meet Tom or his wife Kristen and see things being done the old-fashioned way or as, uh, as Tom worded it, the better way, uh, because the product, oh my goodness, you see these things, I'm buying these myself to take home. Uh, it's just something you don't see anymore, but you can see it here in Sharon Springs. There's a cool man. On your travels through Sharon Springs, be sure to visit the Historical Society and Museum and the 1860 Chestnut Street Schoolhouse. It is free, and in July and August, it is open every day from 1 to 4. In the distance, a grizzly roll. We smell some good cooking, so we follow our noses and the steady flow of customers into the Black Cat Cafe. If you want quite a culinary experience while you're here in Sharon Springs, go to the Black Cat Cafe. It is incredible. Uh, aside from all the different dishes you can order, they take and cut their herbs fresh in the garden when you are having your meal served. They also have uh, flowers that become a part of your, your dish as well that are taken from the garden. People who were eating while we were here today told me that not only was the food amazing and the combinations of flavors very unique, but when it came to the desserts, uh, which are all homemade, they were described as being life-altering experiences and trust me they are not exaggerating because if you have the cappuccino tort here it is going to be for you as it was for me a life-changing experience we wanted a place that would bring people together in the village that would be sort of fun and relaxed and where people could meet each other. When we came to Sharon Springs, we didn't know anybody, and this was sort of a meeting place where we met a lot of the locals, and a lot of people who were passing by also would come. Um, and there are a lot of regulars now, which is, which is great. The curry chicken salad is probably the, everybody's favorite, and, and it's a really great salad. It has the curry, and it's a little spicy. And the curry powder that we had was a little spicy, and I sort of tried to offset it with a sweet cinnamon raisin bread, and we tried it on the menu, and now we can't change it. Vanessa spent her childhood in her parents' restaurant. We asked her why she chose to get into the business herself. Well, I didn't really. I tried really hard to get out of it, and I went to nursing school, and I worked in a hospital, um, but I missed it. I really like cooking for people, and the village didn't have a place to go. Doug and Garth, who have the American Hotel, used to have a cafe up the street, and they closed it to open the hotel, and it was definitely a void here. Tony and Vanessa, the owners, would like to change your life and they're inviting you to come down here either today or tomorrow. And if you order anything, uh, they will give you a free dessert, provided you say the magic words, which are, I love Mohawk Valley living. Across from the Black Cat Cafe is the splendid American Hotel. 
Its proud columns recall a time when Sharon Springs was the playground for the Vanderbilts, Roosevelts, and Rockefellers. In 1996, the hotel was purchased and restored by Doug Plummer and New Hartford native Garth Roberts. When I started coming to Sharon Springs, oh, 30 years ago, this hotel was in total disrepair. So we can thank Doug and Garth for, for totally renovating it and bringing it to what it is today. What it is today is a destination in itself because the American Hotel is a little bit of Manhattan, of Paris, of London, you name it. And it's right here on Main Street in Sharon Springs. They are open six nights a week for dinner. When you come, you may have what I had, lamb chops. I can tell you that the lamb chops are the best you will find any place east of, well, east of Leonardsville. Doug and Garth opened especially for us to treat us to Chef Lee Wolver's culinary magic. You can visit for brunch today from 8 to 2 and Monday through Saturday for dinner. Let's see what we can see. It's time for the Cooper Group's road trip. It's time for